Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to make a test call in the Microsoft Teams mobile application. First, we'll show you how to make a test call on your phone. Then we'll make a private team to host test calls. And finally, we'll join a private test call from the mobile application. If you want to make a test call on your phone, open the Teams mobile application. Go to Teams at the bottom. Select a channel. Then tap the video icon at the top. Hit join now. In the meeting, tap the three dots to reveal more options. Swipe up. Now select lock the meeting. You can now test all aspects of your video and audio settings in a private environment. And when you're finished, hit the red phone button. And then leave or end the call. You can also host a private test call from the desktop application. To start, head to Teams, and create a private team by clicking Join or Create Team. Click the Create Team button. Select from scratch. Choose to create a private team. Then name your new team. We called ours Test Calls. When you're done, hit Create. When asked to add members, just hit skip at the bottom. Perfect! We now have a private team to host test calls. Now let's create a Teams meeting in the private team. To do that, head up and click Meet, or hit the video icon, and select Meet Now from the drop-down. Toggle off your video and camera. Then hit join now. Once you've joined the meeting, grab your phone and open the Teams mobile application. You should see an option to join at the top. Hit join. Then select add this device. You are now free to test all aspects of your call privately. However, admins can use eDiscovery to access audio or video recordings from a private channel, including edited or deleted messages. When you're finished, hit the red phone button, and then leave or end the call. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.